want you to be really careful with the materials, but what you're going to do is you're going to get your screw. This is known as a ferromagnetic screw because it is magnetic. Then you have your D battery. You have your piece of wire. And you have your foil coated magnet. So you're each going to take your magnet and your screw and you're going to stick them together so it's pointing up. Let me know when you all have it. Everybody have it? Yes. Now you're going to take your D magnet and you'll notice it's on the positive end it's got a nub you're going to carefully stick the tip of your screw onto that nub and it's going to stay there. A little closer. Does everybody see it? Okay, now you're going to take your wire and your part that has the black mark up at the top and it's kind of flat. And then on the bottom, it looks like a little bit of a tightness. You're going to stick the flat part of your wire on top of your battery and then you're going to press that little nut thing on there and it, your battery, your magnet should spin. Do you see mine spinning? Do you see mine spinning? You have to press your finger on the flat wire on top and then press that arrow part onto the magnet. Is everybody's working? No. Yes, are you working, please? Yes. I see some people's working. Around, and then biological, so never humans and animals kind of mess around with the soil, causing it to move. Physical is they probably have land sides, rock sides, rock slides.
We're going to start with four down. And your clue is it's the president that won the 1860 election and opposed slavery. You guys can just yell out the answer if you know it. Sheets in front of you that's called the myth about the Underground Railroad. That way, you guys can circle fact or myth as we go along. All right, we're going to start with this first one here. So it says, Most people in the North supported the Underground Railroad and welcomed runaway slaves into their states. Uh, Logan, can you tell me whether it's a fact or a myth? Fact. Fact. That's a good try, but it's actually a myth. Only a small minority of people in the North worked on and supported the Underground Railroad. Many did not welcome the fugitive slaves into their states. Uh, you can use the pictures to tell what they did. So can anyone tell me who might have been a spy 